Hey guys, this is Abby, and I love flex pens. And this is my very, very first flex pen called Noodlers Ahab. And when I first bought it, I expect like a G pen with really fine needle point lines to a very broad wet noodle, but actually it's not. It's the nib itself is rather broad, too broad for me to draw stuff. So. I decided to grind it with a sandpaper to a fine flex, and I will show you the result of the grinding. And the ink I'm using for now is Prussian blue. Oh, it's a bit blurry. Yeah, it's a Prussian blue. And. It is a really, really nice color to me. It's good for daily writing. The paper I'm using for now is a kind of Japanese paper. I don't know what name it is, but it has a really, really nice sheen. It shows everything very nicely. So, uh, the line variation is very, very good because I've run it down to an fine. Or maybe an XF, I think. And I can push it really, really far like this. So, um, and then I thought, wow, this still is not the needle point I expected. So I'm thinking that if the ink is the problem, because I have grinded it to a very very fine fine point already so I found that some inks can produce a very very fine needle point such as um, Iron Gale Iron Gale I, I know this one is risky this one is only for dip pens but I think I'll try dip it in this pen and I'll wash it afterwards because I don't want it to corrode it or rust it and the special gentle apricot ink has a very very fine line too so I'm going to show you these inks results so this is Prussian blue let's see if using salix the iron gale ink helps well it has a very strong smell. So. Wow, it, it really produced an even finer line. Because I don't know if you can see or not, because it's a pretty bad camera. And you can see it's much finer. I can achieve a finer line with this yes this is nice so this is RNK Salix okay here comes the Sailor Apricot one of my favorite favorite ink because if you drop a large ink spot on the paper it will produce a very very nice sheen so let's see oh my god it has really really fine line it's so fine that I can't even see it okay let's see it's even finer than the blue inks I've used and because this camera is pretty crappy and you can see it but I can definitely see the result in real life
So, um, I'm going to do something really, really risky. That's the McCaffrey's Penman's ink. I have to wash it immediately afterwards because this ink is very, very corrosive. Because it is an iron gale. Unlike this one, is a more mild iron gale. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's really grayish. But, um, and when I first tried this ink, I was like, wow, it's so gray. Why would it be considered a black? But then I found out that Iron Gale has a characteristic that it will darken as time passes, so it will darken later. Wow, this is impressive. It's the finest line I've ever seen is so fine that I can't even see it. Take a look. Look at these, this. Yeah, look at how fine is this. Alright, and let me write down the name. And I have to wash it immediately because I love this pen. I don't want it to go to waste, okay? Oh, that was really scary because when I try to wash my pen and I try to pull out the feed, it got stuck because apparently this ink dries pretty fast. So I used hot water to get it out more easily. I was so scared. So really, really don't use the McCaffrey's pen Penman ink on a fountain pen because it will ruin your life. So, um, actually I focused the topic on inks more because it really, really affects how this pen performances. So, i um, give you a closer, closer look of how this pen is like. I hope it zooms in. So, basically, I have made it a very very fine nib and I've deepened the feet as well to increase the ink flow because apparently a fine nib is drier than a broad nib so that's all for now and thank you for watching my video and goodbye bad camera it won't focus bye and please like and subscribe. Thank you.